it's Sarah and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm doing a get ready with me makeup edition to Little Mix as I'm going to see them tonight so I'm super excited. So I hope you enjoy this video and make sure you check out next week's because it'll be the vlog of Little Mix and I'm totally excited, super super excited. Check out how I do this makeup look and enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to do is moisturise because that is like a must whenever you do makeup. Like I always moisturise. Um, so the moisturiser that I'm going to use is the L'Oreal Paris Triple Active Dry and Sensitive Skin which is just this one here. And I like to apply it with um, some cotton pads because then I'm not transferring the dirt from my hands into my skin um, which makes my face like absolutely spotty I know I've got a few spots at the moment but that's just because me being me has been ill so yeah I just get like a little lump and then I'm just gonna grab the little mirror and I'm just gonna dot that into my face so annoying though because I always get it in my hair I always end up putting too much on as well, it's so annoying. Um, but yeah, just grab another cotton pad when I do that and then just carry on buffing it into my face. Now, I do normally go over my eyebrows a bit as well, but because I've literally just had them done today, I don't really want to put anything on them because they're still quite open from the wax but yeah. So I'm pretty gutted right because obviously I'm going Little Mix tonight which is the reason why I'm getting my makeup done Um, but I was going to get some like face like glitters and I totally forgot and I don't have time to now so yay. So it's just going to be like a natural makeup look Um, quite glammy I think. And I'm using some new makeup products that I've never used before, so that's also good. Um, so next I'm going to use this primer. Um, it's a Too Faced one. It's like a little tester one. So it was me and my sister was in Boots and um, basically they came up to us with this scratch card thing and said you can win something and this is what... I won it's a new primer that they've brought out and it's the Too Faced Mattifying Soft Focused Finished Primer and it is the Primed and Peachy one. Um so apparently like the smells are really good in this. Um because so I've not had any Too Faced from um like makeup at all. So this is the first time I'm using Too Faced and I've actually asked for a, a palette for Christmas. Um so, because obviously it made me look at the range and yeah, I really liked it. Um, where's all my brushes? What was that? Oh, someone pushing through, through the letter box. Right, so anyway, what do I put this on with? Because I've never used a primer before. Because I'm so rubbish at makeup. Anyways, where are you? I might just put it on with this brush because yellow. Um. Oh, it's pink. Hmm. I don't know how much you need to put on. It's a primer though, so I'm a bit confused. I don't know. I might just squirt a bit on and a bit on here and a bit on here. I'm confused that it's a primer and it's pink. The layer thing. Anyway, so I'm just going to like put it on my face. Mm. 
Oh, okay, so a little a little amount does go a very long way, so I've probably put too much on now. I didn't know the highest. Oh my god, it smells so nice. It literally smells so nice. It smells a peach here. Right, so. That is the primer. Now we're going to move on to concealer. So, this is a new concealer. <laughs> and I've gone for an acre shade because my mum was like, the lightest one's too light for your skin, which makes me feel so good because normally I'm like the lightest shade. I don't know why I'm talking American again. Um, so, this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer. And it's in the shade a Light Sand. So, Pearl was the... Was the um, the lightest and I got told I right, just showing that upside down I got told that pearls too light for my skin so I've gone with the the light sand so we'll see how that goes um, I'm going to be really annoyed if I put that on my face and it's too dark we did test it you know, like on the back of your hand, but I don't know how good that is. I can't even get into the thing. Look, it's still got the packaging on. So, I'm just going to pop that ooh, under my eye. On the spot. Again under my eye, and again on my spot. And then I always, I always put it on the lid of my eye as well, um, because if you're anybody like anything like me, I have dark eyes, and then also I just like to do it like kind of a triangle here. Because yeah. I do have quite red spot blotches there, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to get my trusty beauty blender and blend that in. This concealer is so good. It's quite a high coverage, like higher than any of my other concealers that I've had before. So that is concealer. Um, I think I'm going to set that. Ah. I think I'm going to set it before like it doesn't set. I don't want you. Like, I'm always so unorganized when I'm doing makeup. Where is it? Yeah, so the setting powder I'm going to use is the e.l.f. one. It's just a perfect finished HD powder. I always use it. And look, I always use it. I'm just going to use this beauty blender. It's like a powder beauty blender. So it's really, really good. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to pat that on. Had that on my face. And yar. Let that set me. I do my makeup so weird. Right, so. Now I've let that set, I kind of just like buff it in. Now I'm going to move on to my foundation so the foundation i'm going to use is the elf flawless finish foundation it's in the color snow and it's the second second to lightest again so, um how do i get this thing open this is gonna go everywhere oh oh it's a pump that's all right then 
So I'm just gonna do like a squirt on my hand. I'm just gonna do like a squirt on my hand and then I'm gonna get this brush and I'm gonna buff it in. See like, I don't understand people. I don't know how people use beauty blenders because I feel like it doesn't put my foundation on properly. I feel so weird to put foundation on my numb spot. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, is anybody going to see the little mix? Because I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. And I cannot wait. I put the day off just to go and see. Because you know, this is me. This is a shout out to my ex. I'm really excited to see um, The Cure Live. Like, I've seen it on videos and I just love it. Like, it's one of my favourite songs from the new album. Um, and I'm so excited. Don't forget to go down into the neck. Right. Now I'm going to use a powder. Um, it's a pressed powder. It's not like the setting powder. It's got like a bit of color to it, but I like to use it to set my foundation. Um, so it's not like a translucent one. Um, and yeah. I just go in with this brush and pop it on. I just feel like it helps set the foundation, but like doesn't let it lose colour. That is bad done. Now I'm going to go in with blush. Oh no, wait, first. First I need to use my Mario Bascado. Do you even know that's how you pronounce it? From Beauty Bay. This thing. Because, you know, keep hydrating and everything. And it also, like, helps the things that... I use a lot of things to set my face. So now I'm going to use blush. So the blush that I'm using is the Rimmel London Light Pink. I use that all the time. Like all the time. And y'all. Yeah, here we go. I like to just like brighten my face up a little bit. Right. Oh, I forgot to use bronzer. Where even is my bronzer? The stars. I don't even know where it is. Hmm. Hmm. I have makeup all over the place. It's not a Kiko one. Hi you. Hello you wonder. I guess I'm not doing bronzer. Cause I can't find it. Because you know I'm just so amazing at like keeping my makeup in one place. Oh well, not big not a biggie because I hardly use bronzer anyway. So what shall I do next? Do I do mascara or do I do hmm. I think I'm gonna do highlighter next. Can't get in it. So, get this little brush. So the highlighter that I'm using is L'Oreal Parish True Match Highlighter. Yeah, so it doesn't tell me like what the name is of it, but it's this palette. And I always use it, I love it. I just realized 
It tells me on the back where to actually put the highlighter. Hmm. It tells you to put it here to brighten up the eyes. Do I like that or do I not? I actually quite like that. Considering I was going to do glitter and I totally forgot I can just use highlighter. <laughs> And both the alley and breath. So I'm going to do exactly the same on the other eye. I'm gonna do it down my nose and on the cupid's go bow and down my chin. I really, really like this. Who needs glitter? <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so like weird of accents. But y'all. Yeah. Oh god. Can you see my highlighter? So that's highlighted done and then I'm just gonna do some mascara. Some mascara. And the mascara that I use is the mascara that I use in every single video. It's the Max Factor X False Lash Effect Full Lashes Natural Look Mascara in the colour black. I'm being so weird. And I always put it on just the top lash because it makes your lashes look so much longer. And then I really want to do like lip gloss but my lips are so chapped so I have to actually just use a lip chap so yeah this is the makeup that i'm wearing why am i still talking like that anyway this is the makeup that i'm going to wear to little mix and i'm actually so impressed with this highlighter mm -hmm. i don't know if you can see it in the camera but like on the back of my highlighter i noticed it said like where to put things i don't know if you can actually read that I don't know anyway there's like a little face there and it tells you like where to put things and yeah so I thought I'd try it out and I actually quite like it considering I forgot the face glitter but yeah so this is my makeup for little mix I'm super excited um yeah kind of like the natural glam look so yeah so that is it make sure you check out next week's video because I'm gonna do kind of like a vlog type video for a little mix tonight. Um, I'll probably like introduce it and then just show you some of the clips and tell you how amazing it was. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited, I can't wait. And I'm just gonna finish this off with a Mario Bescadu, and I cannot pronounce it, the thing that I said before, just to set it. I opened my mouth at the wrong time then. But yeah, so. That is it. This is my makeup for Little Mix. Make sure you check out next week's video for my Little Mix vlog kind of thing. My friends don't like being on videos, so that's why it won't be like a proper type vlog. Um, but yeah, so I kind of speak to you about it and tell you how good it was and stuff like that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you check it out next week and I'll see you next week with my vlog. Bye!